Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. A lot of you may not remember this but I actually used to start all my let's play videos in my house just like this. <laughs> what a throwback. We're gonna do a good old let's play again today because I just have the itch dare I say the urge to play some Animal Crossing and get some work done on the island. I keep forgetting to pick up this pumpkin decoration. Let's go pick this up. Also, no face cam today. I just feel crusty today, you know? Sometimes you have those days where you just want to be a crust. So a quick little update. I did do a stream this past Monday and one of you guys in my comments recommended for me to put these floating Mario blocks in between the, uh, what's this called? The barn and to put some custom designs underneath of the solar panels. So I did both of those modifications and I think it really improved the barn a lot. I also added a little ducky up here just for some, uh, I don't know, extra farmness. And also on my stream, I cleared out this whole top cliff. So this is nice and empty and ready for us to build on. And I started getting to work on like a centerpiece because I want this to be a whole neighborhood type of thing. But I want there to be like a circular centerpiece where all of the houses are positioned around it. So I started getting to work on this, but then my stream crashed and I couldn't finish it. So we're going to keep working on that today. But I guess I might as well do some dailies while we're here. Just get into that let's play mindset. So we're going to do our money tree first. I am also in desperate need of bells. So this is, you know, this is a good investment, I would say. Let me move this out of the way because I will not remember that this is a money tree and I will accidentally get rid of it. Let's see what Nux has for us today. Even though I just spent all my money on the uh, money tree but that's fine there's nothing in here that i really want anyway sorry bestie sorry nan i guess let me pick up these mushrooms as well even if i'm not gonna use them for anything they could still be good to sell get some good monies especially these rare ones and sure why not do the fossils too while we're at it if we're gonna be scooping stuff up we might as well and this flower keeps overgrowing and uh, it's really annoying so we're gonna fix this i'm gonna scoop it up and then I do have my little clear custom design somewhere here. Here we go. We're just gonna put this everywhere so this flower can kind of chill out. Stay in your place. Stay in your lame flower. Thank you. Oh, and I got some Nook Miles for picking mushrooms. Thank you. Ugh, what are you doing here? I was just about to say, let's go run to Violet's house and see if she has a thought bubble, but no. Okay, we have another mushroom over here. Random stuff I don't feel like dealing with. I guess let's go assess these fossils. Why not? Let's actually put in the work. I swear, I don't even remember the last time I talked to Blathers. I feel bad. LOL, I haven't even been to the cafe. Okay, I didn't know I had this many fossils. I guess I had some in here from digging up the whole cliff on stream, I guess, but hey. Here you go, Blathers. What you got for me? Now the question is, do I donate these? Do I give back to the museum? Do I start establishing the beautiful finds of our island? Or do I sell them? Oh no, I hit confirm. Okay, I guess we're selling them. Yeah, 17,000 bows. I kind of need that. Sorry, museum. All right, there we go. Just gonna run through these flowers and uh, let's go keep working on that centerpiece. That would be really nice. I do want to get some progress done on this neighborhood already. So this is what I had so far. This is kind of like the middle of this cliff it's not really centered with the uh barn here but that's okay it's fine so i was just trying to make a big circle got interrupted because my stream crashed but let's keep going let's let's finish this up i don't even know what i'm putting in this circle like i was thinking a water fountain or something like that could be fun but i genuinely don't have any idea i just know that i want there to be like a cute centerpiece and to have like the whole neighborhood houses kind of positioned around it like this is gonna be the main focus you know and of course they're mowing the grass outside when i'm recording this i am so sorry if you hear it and if you don't then i am so glad i don't get it it was literally just pouring rain a second ago why are you mowing the grass right now <laughs> okay so there we go there's our little centerpiece I think this is more of a oval-ish shape. I don't think this is very circular, but it's okay. It, it gets the job done. So yeah, I had put these markers here to kind of figure out the center point between the cliffs. So that is all marked out and now we can get, wait. There's four on this side and there's only three on this side. Wait a sec. You know, I don't really know what happens here. You know what? You know what, actually? I have an idea. So I have this section down here that I absolutely don't know what I'm gonna do with. And I've been debating like, what am I even gonna put here? So I'm thinking we could literally just use up this space and just 
extend all of these cliffs onto this uh, land that's right here to the right of this river. Because I don't think you can even see this land from anywhere. Like, this leads back to Punchy's house. And then if you go over here, I mean, you can go up here and buy the museum and you could check it out. But, like, it's not really... It's not really anything substantial. <laughs> like, there's literally no view to that area. So I think that... We may need to start over with our whole circle thing that we were doing, but it's fine. It's fine. I much more value uh, the real estate that we will obtain by doing this. And we can still leave a little bit of land if we want, I guess. I don't even know what it would be for, but yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to extend these cliffs. I think this is going to be really good for us. This is a great decision. We're, we're doing great. Feels nice. Feels nice to be in the uh, classic, you know, me doing all of the uh, hard work on this island and my actual villagers just doing who knows what who even knows what they do all day none of them have jobs none of them do anything on this island timmy and tommy work they work all day oh isabel in the office all day tom nook dealing with legal stuff all day permits everything he's on top of it i don't know why he let red do the accounting uh that seems kind of counterintuitive but you know i'm not one to question his methods okay i think this is good enough we extended this just a little bit and we could maybe even fit some trees i don't know if it's gonna be possible oh my goodness i don't know how to use joy cons right now uh, but now let's go ahead and we're gonna have to uh completely shift over that whole circle path that we just made, which is fine, it's fine. We just wanna scooch this over all by one. Yay! And I guess since we're redoing it all anyway, I will make this more circular. It will be a little bit bigger. All right, I finished up the border here, now just fixing all of this. And yeah, it looks less rectangular, but now I feel like it looks more square. I don't know. I, I feel like this is good, though. So now we can actually continue with our plan, which was to mark out the plots that we can do. And you know what? Before I start marking out all the stuff, I, I realize we can do the same thing on this side. Look at all this empty space right here. We could, f we could fix this. Okay, just a little something like that. Good, good. And then we can fix over here as well. There we go. Good enough. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I want at least two tiles of space between the houses and the centerpiece so that we can have like somewhat of a walkway. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. And then, uh, yeah, just putting this a little bit closer to this cliff. There's only one tile of space here, which I kind of don't like. So I may want to extend that cliff a little more, but let's do the same thing on the other side. So this is one space, two space. Oh, okay, two space, there we go. And then we will just continue that. So something like this. And on this side, it has a lot of space because we extended this. So that looks really nice. So yeah, it's something like that. So I think we can either fit two or three on the top. Like maybe I could, like, I don't know. It depends on how close together I want to push these houses. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. What if we put two houses side by side, huh? We can just figure out a pair here. I don't know who could be the pair, but someone. Maybe the two cows, that would be cute. Now the question is, do I fit in more houses or do I just leave it like this? I don't know. I could push these ones back so it's not such a big gap in between all of them. I feel like that makes the most sense because I don't think I can fit more houses. I Yeah, I think that does make the most sense because I don't think I can fit another house squeezed in here. It would just be too much. It would just be too much. Okay, let's go with that. I'm just going to pull this back a little bit. All right, there we go. I literally just pushed them back by one spot, but I think that's fine. I think I can also get away with kind of pushing these a little farther. I'll shift this one to the right and we will just get rid of this. And then the left one, I will just shift it one over to the left. Then they have a little bit more space, a little more room to breathe. And I think that looks a little bit better. Let's take a look on the map. Yes, I think that looks better. Okay, well, this was a lot of planning and like it really didn't need to be this complicated, but it's something that I had in my mind that I really did want to execute uh, just really well. So I'm very happy that we took the extra time, did the extra work, did the extra steps. But now let's go talk to Sir Nook. Let's get some houses moving. Let's start doing these foundations here. Maybe we can actually start decorating. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh my goodness, I already have Tipper's freaking plot in my inventory. Okay, perfect. I forgot that when I was streaming, I was actually going to start moving her house, but then, you know, the stream crashed. 
All right, let's, uh, nope, we gotta rethink this one. Let's move that over just by one spot, Chief. There we go. Perfect. This is the spot. I just realized how much time traveling this is gonna take. Ah, oh, okay. But we'll do it, you know? We're, we're prepared. We'll do it. All right, I guess I'll just see you tomorrow. Today we have a villager in the campsite. Oh, okay. Really, I'm not concerned with any campsite villager unless it's Tad, so let, let's see who's here. Oh, yeah, all right. All righty then. All righty then. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. So I guess we do have a thought bubble today. I'm going to I'm gonna need a screenshot of you for my stream thumbnails, good sir, if you don't mind. Uh, just going to take some pictures really quickly. Don't mind me. Keep that thought bubble going. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that looks so good. Show, me, show it to me again. Oof. Beautiful. I'm going to get a better angle here. Show me the bubble. Ooh, work work oh work that bubble oh yeah they're gonna love this one all right now get off my island take care good luck bye but wait no why did i do this no i can't move all my houses oh no it's okay we'll just do as much as we possibly can but yay we got one of the villagers um off of this island one of the only two remaining ones that i wanted to kick off which means violet is the last one standing. Why oh why is this my fate? Why oh why is this what we have to deal with? I cannot believe she has survived this long. I put her all the way over here by her lonesome self on the beach and she is still here, still sticking it out, still thinks that we're besties. It's honestly just embarrassing for her at this point. Anyways, we have good old tips in here. Oh, and we have Daisy May. Hey, girly, let's go move Patty's house. Patty, listen, I got you covered. Just say yes. Don't even listen to what I have to say. Just say yes. Man, I really wanted to finish placing the houses for this darn neighborhood. It seems like every time I try to start working on this neighborhood, something happens. Either my stream crashes or I just get a thought bubble on Cobb that I can't say no to and I have to have an open plot. But anyways, let's get Patty's house all moved up. At least we got these two. <laughs> well, I can't do a whole lot because we're gonna have an open plot, um, but I do want to, you know, kind of get started on this neighborhood, actually do something, that would be nice. So I am gonna time travel to tomorrow to get this house built and we will place another one. And then I do wanna do some decorating. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the question is who else do I move? I don't know who else to move. I guess I could do Maggie. We'll definitely have Maggie back there in the barn. That Yeah, that makes sense. Let's do her next. You know, these two houses look very different. I need to get my butt into gear on Happy Home Paradise because I wanna change the exterior of all my villages houses that would actually be really nice you know what i think i'm gonna put maggie on this side I'm, I'm feeling this side for some reason you can sit on these stacked bags i had no idea i thought they were just decorative what the heck maggie you're so cute oh my goodness look at the camera maggie maggie thank you okay so i got a couple items that could be our centerpieces potentially we have a lot of options so i'm just gonna start messing around with some stuff and we can kind of figure it out from there so i definitely think that these party lights would be so cute so of course we have like something like this that we could do pretty cute but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I, I want to mess around with the other stuff. Another thing that I have is this gazebo, which is really pretty, but I don't know if this is really the farm core vibe that I'm going for. You know what I mean? Although I did just look up the variations of it and there is like a rusty one. So maybe if we go and customize this, I will like it better. Okay. I went and customized this. Ooh, I do like this a lot better. This rust color. Let's pull this back a bit doesn't have to be directly centered what if okay what what if we don't do that how about how about we don't kick off our custom designs what if we put this string lights back here instead i feel like they're kind of in the way in the front you can't even see the string lights from the front barely oh that's okay it's a thought that counts right i just really want to decorate the circle and now i'm thinking that everything is too brown why is this also brown i don't want brown street lights do i have any green ones okay we got some green street lamps I thought these could fit kind of like back in here and we'll just put the other one to match just scoot this back there we go I thought a bike would be really cute 
you know, someone, someone's got a bike, they've been using it, they kind of parked it here for a moment, so I think that's cute. You could still get into the gazebo if you wanted. Then I also grabbed one of these little wooden boxes, and I thought that a veggie basket would be cute on top, just like that. Really cute. And then there is just like a lot of brown, so I want to try to break that up with a leaf pile. If I can shove that on here. That's good. That's good. Um, I have a question. Is two windmills overkill? Asking for a friend. I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I... Ugh. I'm gonna leave them for now until I decide that I hate them or something. But for now, I would like to do some fencing. Let's see how far I can extend this. I don't think... Oh, yes. It does let me put it right there. Hmm. Let me try this other one. This bamboo fencing. We use this kind of near the uh, big red barn area. Okay, actually, I'm second guessing the fencing because I just put one of these bad boys down and I'm really liking that. So I think we're gonna do these instead. And then to fill up the space behind it, I'm gonna do two wheat fields because why not? And then what I also thought could be cute is I have a toy cockroach. I thought we could put one there. Why not? <laughs> He's just a little guy. He's just chilling. All right, so there's our centerpiece. I like it. I think it's really cute. I think I'll also put some little custom designs. I think some birdies would be really cute. And just some little leaves over here. And yeah, that suffices for now. <sighs> I really hate that I can't change the exterior of the houses. It's, ah, uh, this is gonna bother me. What would be really nice are some storefronts just to kind of like elongate these and stuff but these just look so awkward they do not match these houses whatsoever but i'm just gonna leave them for now and i will change these eventually i just literally i literally can't do anything about it right now so and then i do think i'm gonna put a silo behind for tipper's house just like that or no this is this is patty's house <laughs> whoops but i think that's all i'm gonna do for today we are gonna end it here even if it is kind of like in a half unfinished state but i really can't progress too much uh because i have this open plot now or i have what's his face in boxes and if you want to see me go on the hunt for Cobb, i will be doing that on my live streams which are every monday at 4 p.m est so i'm very excited for those and i hope to see you there and even if you don't make it that's okay i usually make them into a stream highlight video so that you don't miss out on all the content so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you had fun hanging out with me i very much appreciate you watching please don't forget to like the video and subscribe on your way out and i will see you in the next one.